Namaste. Hello, my dear beautiful, beautiful Aquarius. How are you all doing today? I welcome you all to your channel. This is your host Shivansh. Those who are new to my channel, thank you so very much for tuning in. Please do like, share and subscribe and that way you can show your grace and gratitude and your support towards this channel and towards this community. All right. So let's see Taurus. I don't know why I landed up saying Taurus, Aquarius. You may be dealing with a Taurus. All right. So Aqua, I will check where the love interest is, uh, where is your love interest is at right now? What is their current energy? Okay. So let me see what is taking place in their energy field. I don't know. I have been doing the readings. I'm getting a lot of chakra cards. <laughs> you see, I was saying that I'm getting a lot of chakra card chakra energies and this is where <laughs> you are at Aquarius this is where your love interest is at card number 40 40 may be in some way shape or form uh, connected to you all right four or zero four or four zero sixth chakra Archangel Metatron so Archangel Metatron with the sixth chakra that means your person's third eye is highly highly getting activated right now they may be going through a lot of headache body ache and when i see this uh, sixth chakra archangel metatron or i always stay, feel uh, this connection about uh, kundalini activation they are having a kundalini activation at this point in time hence they may be going through some paranormal experiences in their life all right uh, absolutely paranormal and they are trying to understand what they are seeing why they are seeing why they are feeling something like this all right something is completely something has consumed them completely and they are like feeling stuck all right what happens when a kundalini activation takes place third chakra activation takes place <laughs> it is no easy energy to deal with right it's really no easy energy they had no idea about it now they are understanding what this is all about and trying to understand uh, trying to find a way out to work through that energy all right they are seeing something major something major that has brought them into their knees that's how i'm feeling they are seeing something major that has brought them into their knees at well. queen of spring brilliant loyal talented friendly believe in yourself wonderful people want to help you maintain a balance between work and home life yeah this person has completely engrossed themselves in their work so that they can forget you but there is a saying the more you resist the more it persists this is the case with this person with you they cannot take you out of their mind period because this is queen of wands they see you how brilliant you are how loyal you have been how talented how friendly how much of a compassionate energy you carry within yourself the kind of belief and faith you have within yourself all right and uh, how you extend your support your grace and gratitude and help to other people all right how beautifully you balance your work life your relationship you have you know this activation is helping them see it. I don't feel that this is their energy, actually. I'm feeling this is your energy, my feminines, uh, who, the viewers, all right? This is viewers, your energy. And this is the energy of the love interest of your life. You see, this person is looking, this person is looking at her. Okay, this person is looking at her. So I'm feeling like this is their energy and this is your energy. You are vibing with the energy of the queen of wands. And they are seeing the beauty, the resilient beauty of yours. Like they cannot resist, all right? They cannot deny this connection to themselves. No matter how much resistance they bring, every resistance will bring them more closer to you. More closer to you every now and then, all right? They are dreaming about you. They are not able to sleep. They are continuously thinking about you, about the kind of worth that you carry within yourself all right the kind of worth that you carry within yourself just give me a moment yeah so they i got this sentence you know the woman of substance 
they are seeing you as they're like a woman of substance in their life missing out on you will be a loss a big loss from their life that's how i'm feeling because there is no comparison of yours uh, to their life there is no comparison whatsoever they see you as a marriage material they have a lot of passion for you the energy that you are vibing in they are receiving that energy at their end that's why probably they are having a lot of pain going through a lot of roller coaster ride of paranoia experiences and they are not understanding what is happening you know because they are fighting their own battle with themselves that they know that they cannot resist all right and they are trying to resist something that they know that they don't have any control and universe is nudging them to let go of any control issues this person is having a lot of control issues it's like holding a rope when on the other end universe is you know trying to pull that they are bleeding but not ready to let that rope go they are willing to bleed be on their knees keep holding on to the rope as long as they can just imagine a tug of war that's they are they are having a tug of war with themselves all right because your beauty your brilliance your loyalty your charisma has forced them to see what they are where they are on the verge of losing a big deal uh, in their life that's how i'm feeling to be honest very strong Akira. very strong keep vibing in that energy if you are really really resonating to what i'm saying keep vibing in that energy and you see receptivity <coughs> excuse me receptivity absolutely everything that i say is just a validation of this card all right this card you see this person is connecting to the higher frequency higher dimension this is a female energy all right this is a female figure okay this female is so highly awakened enlightened you know and they this person is connecting to the universe her kundalini her chakra system is all on point and this is absolutely the third eye and the um, um, third eye and the crown chakra and they got the sixth chakra you see this person you see this is in the middle and i feel like this is your energy my feminine this person is completely like a sandwich in between your energy they are trying to break free but universe has held them cage see 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 what it is see what it is be receptive to what we are trying to say like universe is trying to say okay be receptive to that and they are now finally trying to understand and trying to be receptive to the information that getting uh, they are getting the download because this is the sixth chakra third eye is getting activated so higher dimensional energies are getting channeled to uh, to them so that they can see uh, you know what they need to do to come towards you and take an action and make a move so that they can bring equality just and fair um, you know uh, amount of what you truly deserve can be uh, you know gifted out to you can be given out to you all right that's what i'm feeling this person is absolutely squeezed by the universe at this point in time i will see if the tarot card shows like tower or world or something like that but this person is absolutely have no idea why the hell i am experiencing this because they are trying to run away from something that is not uh, in their control all right instead of facing that they are running they are showing in their back and they are running all right you see they are running i told you with the five of uh, pentacles they are running five to the six they they know that they have to do justice they have to be fair all right they have taken enough now it's their turn to give so karma can be balanced only then right what you have taken you have to give back then only you will be freed and if you try to control that then universe will squeeze them right you see 
Everything, my card is just validating to whatever I said. And you see, I told you they are seeing that, um, you know, they are absolutely seeing that where they have put you, all right, what they have done to you, why they had to do all those. They are seeing you as an empress. They are seeing you as a queen of wands and they know. No matter, they go this route, that route, 10 different directions, if they, even if they go east, west, north, south, north, west, north, east, south, west, south, east, the sky and the earth. You are there. Your energy is there. Okay. Your energy is there. And when they are seeing your energy and they are seeing what they have brought towards you, you, a person who has been so giving, so kind, so nurturing, so passionate, you might have shared a very uh, intimate, uh, physical, the chemistry that you both have shared, maybe out of this world experience, all right? That's how I'm feeling with these two cards, okay? The experience that they had with you, no matter wherever they, they go, in 10 different directions of this universe, they will not find that. At the end, they will end up with the same energy. All right. So universe, they have, you know, universe has squeezed them. The, I really feel like this is only their energy. And this is this energy surrounding them. Because sixth chakra is third eye. When the third eye gets activated, if you have that activation and you experience that, you know, if you have experienced that, then you understand how it feels like, right? How it feels like. You see, I told you. I told you. This person is finished. They are looking for a union. This person, whatever this person is doing with you, whatever this person has done with you, no matter they get into 10 different relationships, they will do the same in all those relationships. All right. So universe will bring an end to that at one point in time, right? How many relationships, my dear friend, you want to have to experience what? When I have already gifted you a woman who is compatible to you, just change a couple of behaviors here and there, grow up, mature, take care of the dark energies within you, all right, and come out clean, be innocent, all right? But no. You got this person actually the moment they meet you my viewers this connection was so intense the passion that you have shared the chemistry that you have shared all right whatever energies you both have ex exchanged with each other aqua it was so intense for them that in this lifetime they cannot take you out of their heart body mind soul period all right period and they try to escape this intense connection by having a tug of war with you, putting you in this kind of energies, all right, give, making you like die, okay? They have shared such a beautiful connection for which you have put in all the hard work, your patience, your attention, your determination. You stayed focused, all right? You gave everything best that I you could have. I feel like you have helped this person financially as well, okay? Or you have bought certain things for their house, um, you know, that can help them, you know. It's not always like you give money only, right? Even if you are buying certain things to make their house look good or that is not there in their house and you are buying that for their house, you have done that, all right? You have done that. You have supported them financially, you know. You have supported them in cash and kind, all right? You, you gave all your patience. You have taken care of them like a baby. You mothered them. But in return, what they brought towards you is tug of war, ten of swords, five of pentacles and four of cups energy. And God has multiplied that and giving them that energy back so that they can see the truth. Stop having that fight with themselves. All right. Heal these energies within themselves so that they can make a move by cleaning this kind of energies. Even if lit, it's little, they can make a move towards the person who has dedicated her or their life 
for this person, right? And get into union with each other. Very intense energy. Very intense energy. <clears throat> this person has torn your life apart. I feel like that. My viewers, what I feel is that you have come to a point like this is the worst case scenario that you can uh, you have experienced in your life. What next universe? Bring it on. You are in that attitude right now. Bring it on universe. You want to kill me? Kill me. I'm already dead. All right. I'm already dead. What I got in return for all my dedication, my hard work, my patience, I got nothing. All right. I just got nothing. Not even a word of kind. Forget about getting my money back. Forget about getting any kind of appreciations for my hard work and dedication. My world, my emotional stability, my financial stability all fell apart. I died 10,000 times, all right, in this process. This person has put you through in uh, that energy that God is now. I told you, remember in the beginning, universe has squeezed them now. Universe has typically squeezed, squeezed them and universe is putting them into the same platter where they have put you in during this time of re, uh, the relationship that you have shared and through that they are actually seeing your worth of who you are they know that you are a woman of substance and to the best of your knowledge your wisdom your uh, loyalty you have stood by them all right and now they are understanding. If not, they are going through the process right now of understanding your worth in their life, your presence in their life, how to bring equality, you know, how to bring that commitment towards you. You see, Ace of Pentacles with Page of Pentacles. They are thinking about uh, bringing that commitment towards you so that they can uh, start a family with you because they know, they understand and they see the amount of effort that you have put in and you see you have got five six seven there's a lot of pentacle energies that means this is absolutely prophesized it is taking place in the 3d world right at this point in time while i'm reading this for you okay they are understanding right now that they are losing a big deal or they have already lost they are feeling like this connection is lost. Uh, they are feeling like uh, I have no way out to go back to her and, you know, even come to a point of saying sorry, you know, or extend an apology. All right. This is very painful. I don't know why. I'm feeling a lot of pain, to be honest. I'm feeling a lot of pain. This person really, really has tricked you in a bad way. No. I don't know why. Today's energies are very, very challenging energies. I'm feeling so drained and dried out and so much of pain that I'm feeling, you know. Trust me. I mean, I'm really sorry. I'm feeling sorry for you, my viewers, the energy that they have put you through. But if you believe in karma, just believe in karma. What goes around comes around. And with the sixth chakra activation, our Archangel Metatron, he is like bombarding this person uh, to see what they have done, what they have brought towards you, to see your worth of who you are, helping them to be receptive, to channel those messages and work through those energies so that they can bring some kind of healing towards you all right otherwise they know their life will never be the same again they will never find that and i can tell you with the three of cups out here their relationship even if they have third party all right their relationship with the third party is exactly the same they are putting them also in that energy. They are putting them in that energy. They are putting them in that energy because this person is vibing in this energies, you see. So they are putting them also in that energy. 
so where how the how long this person is going to tolerate that energy right how long you tolerate it is worth a deal because you being a divine feminine you have uh, fought this connection you have stood your ground for this connection but this third party may not right so they might be having some kind of arguments kind of quarrel some kind of fight with the third party you know this third party may be saying like you are not giving me time why are you ignoring me you are because they are not balanced with their energies with themselves all right they are struggling uh, with your emotions that they are carrying inside okay why they still have that connection that feeling for for you at the, even now also even if you guys have separated they have moved on in a different life different sorry they have moved on with uh, with another person because this is spiritual this is divine right you cannot sever a divine connection that's where their fault lies they have tried to sever a divine connection now they are paying the price for that all right hence they are not able to find any peace with themselves neither they are able to bring any peace to even the third party all right hence their union i mean their connection with the third party is also like about to die or it's already dead okay i'm telling you this because at the end a true person who has put in the work is eligible to get something like this right not a person who has just entered three or four months back you know just because when the, just when this person was trying to run right just when this person was trying to run away from you they met this third party or whatever or got in got into that third party uh, situation or whatever you know at the end that's not a good karma right running is not a good karma facing is also facing is something like universe is looking for not running they just showed it their back and they just walk without an answer got into a new connection brought the same energy towards them because when you get into another connection you attract the same energy the way you are so wherever your love interest is that whatever their energy is they attracted the same kind of love interest the third party the same way all right and now they are understanding they are seeing the repercussions all right they are now bringing them your love interest into that kind of energy into this kind of energy into this kind of energy it's like equal give and take all right but what i feel is that you are absolutely like protected by the universe you know and universe is helping you to stay grounded be patient be calm and compassionate with yourself to find your own equality your tranquility within you or i right? take care of your own family your life your pentacles okay find that union with yourself i'm telling you aqua i'm really telling you this person mark my word this person is going to come in your life in the next 7 days maybe in a blink of an eye this person the moment this person will get the reception from the universe all right get connect to that reception of the universe and universe nudge that you need to do this are you going to take an action and you know their inner calling will will help them take that action help them make a move because they have your energy in some way shape or form with them because they see your worth of who you are they understand that even if they are vibing in that some kind of a strong energy it is an energy transferred by you not the third party all right it is the prayers it is the healing energies that is transferred by you they understand that and they understand that they will have to do justice to you they will have to be equal fair just towards you okay they will have to come towards to bring that union and take care of this relationship and commit okay so i feel like this person is going to commit very soon expect the unexpected coming your way all right expect the unexpected coming your way and this person is going to make a move very soon because they know karma needs to get balanced wedding i told you you see 
wedding marriage is the union of two souls joined in love mutual respect and commitment it signifies a desire to deepen love over time your wedding day is a testament to your well founded faith in love's power continually breathe life into that faith and love dearest one yep yep to whatever i'm saying this person once they get the entire download that is been presented out to them by the universe they will come rushing in with an apology with a commitment to take care of this relationship from falling apart so that they can do justice to you get in union with you to start a family with you and get into that commitment of wedding 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 i feel like that this is wedding this is wedding this is wedding this is wedding all right this is a wedding with a person they soulfully feel connected all right they soulfully feel connected that's how i'm feeling and you know when it is about a soul connection you know you may go through some experiences like karmic kind of experiences but you really cannot share the tie you really cannot share that soulful connection it is the divine intervention going on in your relationship right now in their life okay what i would tell you my dear viewers that you keep sending positive energies to them healing energies prayers to them all right that way they will feel more strong more powerful in their energy and accordingly they will be able to see the lady, lady luck they will be able to see your true authentic worth in their higher dimension and accordingly they will see the amount of work that you have put in and your strength and your power all right that will also get ignited within them and accordingly they will be able to make a move towards you with that that may be small but that is going to turn into um, a big ace of pentacle all right so expect that they are coming one enchanted evening the perfect night what a beautiful card to summon up this reading to whatever i said in this scenario with this six chakra activation with this receptive energy with the queen of spring and empress i'm telling you my viewers the hard work the pain the sorrows that you have gone through it will pay off this energies will say goodbye to you it's a, just a blink of an eye one enchanted evening everything will turn out to be gold because patience and perseverance gets paid off and that's where you are at your patience your perseverance uh, is going to get paid off okay so i hope this reading has helped you in some way shape or form until we meet again i'm sending across much love and light to you all om namah shivaya stay blessed and in peace